Hey guys, Umar here for Architecture Day Sketches. So this week, our topic will be applying textures. So what is texturing? Now, textures are basically hatches that you can make using either pencil or ink and as a rendering method. And it's used to suggest materiality and to provide relief and depth to the drawing of a building. I have a few examples here that I'm going to show. I'm going to try and render an example of a brick surface, timber, and concrete. Something like that. So what I like to emphasize is the kind of roughness that you would apply in texturing especially since this is a sketch, uh, you notice that I only hatched using single lines and I did not even bother to draw outlines for the brick. It's important to note that the level of detail is up to you, but texturing is really meant to be suggestive. It's only meant to suggest the materiality. You do not have to draw it out like a technical design detail drawing, which is why I've drawn it quite rough. Now I'll try to draw a timber surface. For timber surfaces, you can usually just draw out either planks or you can draw out the grain. As for concrete, I usually just use stippling. Now it's interesting to note that you can also use texturing to denote values of shade. Like for example, in the concrete example, uh, I stipple a little bit more on this face and it suggests that this face is away from the source of light. The source of light is going towards here. So this part is in the shade. So I stipple a little bit more and the texture suggests that this part is in the shade. Okay guys, so here I have a drawing of a house that I prepared earlier, ready for me to apply some textures into it. Now, if you guys are interested to know how you can do a drawing like this, I would recommend that you guys look at some of our previous videos, such as perspective, for two-point perspective, line weight, and for some of the little entourages here, videos of people and trees. So click on these icons if you're in a desktop and if you're using a phone, you can check out the links in the description below. Okay guys, so before I start, I'd really like to note that, well at least for sketching, that texturing is again meant to be suggestive. So you don't have to rat hatch every roof tile, every brick and every timber grain. You just have to be smart in picking out certain areas to highlight these textures and that's really up to your individual creativity. You can follow values of shade, or if you have, uh, or if you want to highlight a special texture or a special material that you're using in your design, you can also do it like that. Okay guys, notice how I'm being quite selective with where I hatch the textures. For examples, I left some spaces blank here for the timber grains and there are some places where I made the 
hatch a bit denser and that does suggest uh, depth and shadow. Before I move on to the texture for the glass and water, I want to talk a little bit about the texture of the concrete that I did. You can see again I've applied uh, selective texturing in that I've left certain parts empty and then I've made the hatch denser under like the stairs for example to suggest a uh, shade. So it's suggesting that the light source is coming somewhere from here. Also notice how sharp the lines are. Hmm. That's because I'm using this Tech Liner 0.1 pen from Alvin, which I am very satisfied with currently. For the glass and water, I'll be using the 0.5 Tech Liner from Alvin. So now I'll be adding the environment. I'll be using a really rough way to denote the contours of the landscaping around it. And of course using the previous video's method for doing trees. So again guys, uh, notice how I use selective texturing to depict the contours of the landscape and also how I depicted the trees, how the trees that are a little bit closer have a little bit more detail but as the foliage gets farther and farther away, I put less details for them. So guys, today's video was sponsored by Non Architecture. And they were kind enough to provide you guys with a 10% discount code that you guys can use to enter their ongoing design competition. All you have to do is use this code, the modmin, one word, no space, when you are paying your registration fees and you will immediately be rewarded with a 10% discount. Check out the description below for more details. And thanks again to Alvin and company for providing us these awesome products. It really made a huge impact and difference with the way that we drew here. So there you have it guys, applying textures using ink. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. And if you're new here, you can subscribe for more videos. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, links are below. Thank you so much for watching.